In this corner, we have Fram, the support bonded shield unit. And in this corner, we have Sadal, everyone's favorite dancer. Who is better and why? To begin, we need a demonstration. What can both of these units enable? So I'm going to do two strategies. I'm going to do a Sadal dance attack, and then I'm going to do a Fram bonded shield. And we're going to see which one is more effective or if they're very similar. So this will be the first test, the test of strength. <laughs> to begin, we will do a simple bonded shield. We're just gonna do a bonded shield and see how it works out. This will be the Fram test. This is like peak, right this is like peak Fram gaming with Lucina bonded shield. All right, so we wanna get hit by everything. Now we want Fram to do her little thing. So this is like the peak, right? This is like as good as it gets. All right, let's see. Let's let's observe the results. All right, so far so good. We got five, <laughs> and I got five hundred gold. <laughs> it's always good to see. <laughs> Dude, you triggered twice. That's crazy. All right, looks like Fram Gaming is doing pretty well. This is obviously an enemy phase tactic. Got to level up as well. Nice. I like to see it. Some magic and speed. So it looks like she'll kill all of them. Now this is using two units. So there's a huge advantage here. And that advantage is called compression. So having just two things perform this result is pretty huge. The fact that she's unkillable and she's guaranteed to kill these because of her like level and her stats. All right, so let's try a Sadal tactic. Can Sadal make it happen? All right, so in this attack, what I'm going to do is kill every last one of them, but on player phase, and I'm going to do a Byleth dance. So Sadal really shines with Byleth dance, so you can refresh him. So I would say his dance is similar to a chain yard, right? But if you can AOE dance, get like a Byleth dance going, then you can get more bang for your buck and you can refresh your units as well as your dancer. And that's really his use case is like warp strats and dives. All right, so let's go, we have to go to a tile. I have to plan this out. So unlike with the other thing, I didn't have to really plan it out. I guess I could plan it out something like this. All right, so if I wanted to do something like this, I could kill an archer, but I need to kill some of these guys. We need to make space. I need to like make, I need to make the space for the Byleth dance. All right, and then Tamara can go for a javelin kill. Maybe she gets it, maybe she doesn't. Nice, she got a sandstorm. Okay, and then Chloe. Oh, she is Sigurd, so she can actually kill this archer now and then canter into position so this is like the this is like the strength of like a dancer like resetting a damage unit and then getting like super danced something like this and then you can attack and dance some more that's like the dancer's big thing right this is really the strength of a dancer right like the, being able to reset things get aoe danced reset more things so he's danced twice you can also like quality time now of the two of them it depends on how you're playing maps so if you're diving and doing warp strats then obviously dancer would be stronger but if you're slow pushing and just taking the maps at your own pace then bonded shield is generally the better option but you can always use both like there's nothing that says you can't use both so that is the relative difference right now, obviously, I'd use more units. It took calculation. It took more time. It's much easier just to spam Bonded Shield and just tank everything. Uh, but both achieved the same result of killing seven enemies. So there's obviously pros and cons of offensive dancing versus tanking. But obviously, in this map, unless you're warp skipping it, I would say just the Bonded Shield. Bonded Shield on the center makes the most sense, and then I could dance people into like killing stuff like this and like reach out. So one of them is more sturdy and can slow push better. The other is definitely better at attacking 
in player phasing. So this is kind of like a player phase versus enemy phase debate. Sadal can also run Bonded Shield, so Bonded Shield isn't unique to Fram. Uh, however, if you want him to be able to also punch something to death on Martial Master or on Dancer, he has lower offensive stats and generally will have much lower magic than her. And if you switch him to Martial Master, he does gain some strength and magic, but he still will have lower stats than her, and he also has lower speed in this case. They have similar speed growth, she has slightly more offensive growth. She has 30% strength, 25% magic, whereas he has 25% strength, 15% magic. So she has a whole 10% magic on him and 5% strength, which does matter over time, but not so much in the short term. Now he is a higher base level. You do have to kind of invest in her, but she's also your starting staff unit. The other thing too is Dancer versus Martial Master. Uh, Martial Master can use staves and Fram can of course rescue, warp, heal, restore, you know, freeze, do whatever she needs to do in terms of staff use. And most staff using gives you an emblem bar, whereas dancing does not. So if you have him dancing and he's on bonded shield, he is not building it back up from dancing. And he is also not going to be as good at one rounding certain enemies with punching them to death. So that's an option for Fram. So flashing fist plus four to five with Lunar Brace is usually enough to one round certain enemies or at least quad them and deal good damage. And of the two of them, Fram generally will have slightly higher strength so she can pull out Parthia and deal more damage with that if that's something that you care about. But she's definitely better at combat, whereas he's better at just like raw support because of the dancing. And of course, Curious Dance is really useful. But of the two of them, I think she's the better bonder, and switching him off Dancer into Martial Master is generally a bad idea, and the Dancer offensive stats aren't that good. So she's definitely a better combat unit, and he's definitely a better, just like pure utility. All right, so here is Sadal. He's gonna try to dance his way back into Corrin's abilities. All right, so he dances, no engage meter. Very unfortunate. Now, who has the better supports of the two? So, Fram, she has Chloe, Anna, Timera, Gold Mary, which is an important Vander support. She's Kagetsu, Diamant, and Lapis. And then on Sidal, we have Chloe, Timera, Kagetsu, and then Alchrist, Citrine, Yunaka. Now, of these, all of the good supports that Sidal has, Fram also has. Uh, but he also has Citrine, so if you're running a team comp with Citrine, that could be beneficial. I don't think Citrine is going to be like a bonded shield target. She's generally not fast enough to survive, so she'll get one-rounded. She's too slow, unless you do like some heavy speed fixing. So she's not the best target for bonded shield, so if you wanted to make him a bonded shield unit, you would probably be bonding Kagetsu. Um, now, one thing I do prefer, so like if you're going to be doing a bonded shield on Fram, she can hit Anna, and Anna is a no-brainer if you want to run Anna throughout an entire playthrough. And proof of that is the clip I showed earlier where she's just like killing everything effortlessly. Her and Pandreo, Pandreo is less effort, but Anna can be really good because she has this Fram support. So if you want Fram and Anna just to go off on their own and just kill everything, and Fram never gets targeted because of dual supports plus Makaya engraving, and Anna always gets targeted because she has low like defensive stats, low max HP, enemies love to target her. Uh, this is actually a very effective combo. So this is arguably better than like a Kagetsu because on Kagetsu, the thing you have to worry about is he doesn't have good one to two range, right? Levin Sword is the best, arguably the best enemy phasing weapon in the game because on Bonded Shield, you have one to two range, you have insanely high might, you have sword power, you have units with abnormally high magic stat. So like Pandreo can get his magic pretty high, Anna can get her magic really high, and you can just tank tons of damage return tons of damage one round most things or all things on counterattack and just clean up maps effortlessly and this includes endgame and it's much harder to do that on physical builds so arguably this support this specific support matters a lot because she gets dual support so i would say of the two of them uh fram definitely has better supports so who has the better passive uh fram's passive gives her and the divine dragon avoid plus 10 if they're adjacent to each other which is pretty useful if you want to make a Leer 
a bond target or if you just want a chain guard you also scale a void whereas Sidal has curious dance which is actually very useful because it allows you to heal passively every turn within two tiles everyone recovers 10 percent of their max hp except for him everyone but him so that's one key thing to note so he doesn't reset his own chain guards which would be pretty nice but unfortunately that's not how it works so he can enable other chain guarders every two turns just by healing them for free and then if you combine quality time plus with curious dance he can generally reset other chain guarders in a single turn which is very useful so him being able to reset chain guarders is arguably more useful than just giving fram and a Lear of void plus 10 so i do have to give it to him now in terms of availability obviously fram has the best availability in the game she's like one of the first units you get so it goes to her uh, he does have better bases but obviously by the time you get to him you'll have done so many paralogs you're on like chapter 15 so he starts on your team chapter 16 onward as um a unit you can actually customize and change he can still get xp and level up on his starting chapter though so she definitely has better availability he has a better passive she has the better combat i would argue her builds are stronger than his like if you're if you're not warp skipping endgame maps and you're actually playing them she's better but if you're warp skipping he's better so of the two units like if i had to pick one though like me personally i would definitely rather have fram I just feel like she's a stronger support unit and in my five man run i actually opted to use her because i recognized her enemy phasing and her ability to one round on lunar race is more important she can reset her bonded shield by killing things which is very useful that's something sadal cannot do now if i was doing warp skips on my five man run it'd probably be a little bit trickier there'd be more calculation involved but he arguably could also fill that role i would just have to change my approach so it's kind of hard to say which is better because both do really useful things now he's pretty terrible at using emblems on dancer and that is a problem to some degree he can enable some crazy things but because dancing doesn't reset your engage meter at all he ends up being like a bond ring user and that's fine there's good bond rings so he could actually use the healing bond ring that reset that resets his own chain guard but generally you're going to be dancing on him and situationally you'll be chain guarding and in this case, I'm just using him to do stuff like this. So like if he wants to go up here in Torrential, he can help freeze and then he can canter out so he can like freeze as needed. So I'm kind of using Corn as like a throwaway emblem in this case. Um, but if I had to choose one, I would rather have Fram. I feel like on a small team, she's better. I feel like her bonding is better and her ability to one run more consistently on Lunar Brace is better. She has the higher base magic. By the time you get Sadal, her magic's just going to be so much higher that he's going to have to catch up. He's never going to deal as much damage as her. She has higher combat stats than him. And in my opinion, she's like slightly better. <laughs> I don't think she's that much better. She, I think she's slightly better. Now, I know some people will just say, oh, well, this is the only dancer, so he's better because he can dance and dancing is great. I would agree if this game didn't spam so many enemies. I think because this game spams so many enemies, if you're not warp skipping the final end game maps, Dancing is not as good as being able to consistently set up bonded shields. And that's something that she can do like a lot better than he can. And especially if you have your Lear be like a Wyvern hard carry or some kind of hard carry. Or even if you just want her to like chill out with Anna and just go farm entire maps. Which I actually just did that just to test it. Uh, I, had, I had them take out the center. I had them take out these. And then the archers and like they were routing the, just the two of them were routing the map just off of bondage <laughs> literally trivializing the entire map i didn't even have to think about what i wanted to do so that that is the power of bondage shield when you're actually like trying to route the maps her bondage shield enabling is definitely better and having a support with pandreo or anna i would say is key getting them on mage knight levin sword with sword power five enables them to be absolutely cracked in a way that other units can't achieve and they can pretty much kill any target that attacks them except for maybe some mages and even then she has 64 magic attack so she has 64 magic attack hitting against a res of 36 she still has lethal damage i think fram is just slightly better i do think the dancing is really good the warp skipping enabling is really good but when you're actually just routing the maps the thing is too though you can warp skip a bonded shield unit right like you can warp skip in a bonded shield and then bonded shield it's not going to be as quick as a dance combo, but you, if a boss just attacks you normally and you have insane avoid rates, so like right now, 
if she switches weapons, she will get 124 base avoid, and then when she's next to an A support, she'll be like 140 plus avoid. So the boss will attack the target. So you can just warp in two units with like Micaiah, and then just have them bonded shield, and bosses will start killing themselves. Like bonded shield could be used for LTCs. It just depends on the map. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. I think overall Fram is slightly stronger. And even for like warp skipping, I think there's potential to warp skip with bonded shield, as funny as that sounds. Thanks for checking this out. Definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you agree or disagree and why. And also we have a channel membership, which gives you a cool new badge. And you also get cool emotes. Thank you for checking this out. Peace.